The two were sleepy in the car for a long time, because there's a monster outside the window, and their car broke down. The two think wait, but the monster didn't leave with the night. After a while, it's quiet around. They turn on the lights to see. The monster seems to have left. Man ready to go out to repair car, but he just got off. The monster rushed up. The man was killed by the monster. The woman hurried back to the car. She put supplies in her backpack. Then she ran into the desert while it was dark. The next day, this woman wakes up on a rock. Sudden, the monster appeared before her. Monsters have a particularly sensitive sense of smell. Woman picks up stick and throws out. The monster just glanced. He's just a monster, but not a dog. Woman smears blood on stick again. The monster did chase. Woman flees, but the monster has reacted. Monster walks slowly, because yesterday, dead man breaks monster's left leg with only bullet left. This woman's name is Anna. She found that the monster was walking very slowly, so she doesn't worry anymore. She has enough water and food in her bag, but the monster has been chasing slowly. Monsters don't get tired until Anna finds a house. Anna wants to rest here for a while, but as soon as she lay down, she heard noises from outside. Anna quietly looked outside. It's even a monster. Anna hides in the bathtub. She once hurried the bathtub to cover up the smell. Anna is scared, but when she looked down, this is a non-venomous scorpion. It is slowly crawling up the woman's body, and this woman dare not move, because there's a monster out there looking for her. Finally, the monster left. The woman was angry and took the scorpion and fell out, and trampled it. Shortly after, Anna carefully walked out of the house, and the phone still has no signal in the desert. When she stopped to rest, the monster is back. Anna is tired. She picks up a stone. But the monster is not afraid at all. Anna can only run away again. The nearest airport is now 20 kilometers away. At this time, Anna's rhinitis. She's going to take some medicine. Although Anna is very distressed, but keep running away. When it was time to eat, Anna would climb on the rocks. The monster is watching right below. Anna will also throw something for the monsters to eat, but the monster ignores her. At night, Anna will light a fire on the rock. The monster is still watching below. It's been three days. At this time, Anna wants to climb down from the rock. Woman trying to climb off the stone, but her heels are too high, caused her to fall. Although very painful, but she has to keep going. She has been walking in the desert for four days, and the monster followed for four days. Suddenly there was a dust storm. Anna ran away, but she was still overwhelmed by the sandstorm. After a long time, Anna opened her eyes. She saw a car. Two men got out of the car and helped Anna into the car. Anna wants to drink water, but her bag fell to the ground. The, the man won't let Anna get out of the car. They went looking for bags. After the two men, Anna looks in the mirror in the car. Accidentally found a photo. It seems that the car does not belong to these two men. Anna realized the danger at this time. She wants to get off, but the two men are back. They drag Anna out of the car. They are going to rape Anna. Anna shouted loudly. The monster in the sand wakes up. It rushed up and killed a man. Another man freaks out. Run away with the car. The monster saved Anna. At this time, Anna seems to be no longer afraid of it. A kayak fell from the car. Anna just happens to be used to hold things. Just when she feels tired, there are some car tires on the road. Just fit on the monster. After a long time, Anna chained the monster to the stone. She wants to leave alone. I can't bear to drop the monster. After some thought, Anna let go of the monster. After so many days of following, the monster didn't bite Anna. Finally on the road, Anna found a military vehicle. She hurriedly dragged the monster aside and hid, because people will definitely kill the monster. But the soldiers still saw the figure. Anna told the monster not to move. She went out alone to deal with the soldiers. Two soldiers pointed guns at Anna and asked her if she was infected. Anna hastily denied. She said her car broke down and she's going to the airport. The soldier wants to leave with Anna, but Anna refused. Soldiers are preparing to leave. The monster came out. Anna hurriedly guarded the monster and asked the soldiers not to shoot. But the soldier still broke the monster's right leg. The monster can't walk at all. Anna dragged the monster to the vicinity of the airport. But she can't bring monsters into human territory. Looking at the badly wounded monster, Anna seems to decide something. She took a huge rock and personally free the monster. After a while, Anna arrives at the airport. There are planes and surviving humans. This time, she's going to the fallen city because she wants to save her own daughter. At this point, she has almost learned about the monster. Alright, that's it for today's story.